Good afternoon guys and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Mitsu Manaka and I am your N3 Building Science Tutor. So today we are going to deal with frames. What you need to know in frames? You need to know your scale. You need to know how to use your scale. So let's start. Firstly, we are going to calculate the left hand reaction and the right hand reaction firstly. So looking at this frame, we have our left hand reaction right here and our right hand reaction right here. The scale is one centimeter is to one meters and one centimeter is to one kilonewton. So let's calculate the reactions. To calculate left hand reaction, we are going to say moments around RR. RR it's this one that's the right hand reaction so we are going to start at this one so we are going to say RL multiply by the distance from RL to RR it's 12 so we're gonna multiply by 12 and then we say 4 kilonewton multiply by 3 4 kilonewton multiply by 3 plus 5 kilonewton multiply by 6 5 kilonewton multiply by 6 plus 8 kilonewton multiply by 9 8 kilonewton multiply by 9 then let's get an answer okay guys so the answer is 114 we're gonna divide 114 by 12. We divide by 12. And we have 9,5 kilonewton. I hope everyone understand this part. So let's go to right hand reaction. We are going to say moments around RL and rr multiply by 12 now we are starting here we are starting here going there so it's 8 multiplied by 3 8 kilonewton multiplied by 3 plus 5 kilonewton multiplied by 6 plus 4 kilonewton multiplied by 9 right Let's get an answer. And the answer is 90. The answer is 90. So we are going to divide the 90 by 12. And we have 7,5 kilonewton. 7,5 kilonewton. Now that we are done calculating our reactions, we are going to draw a force diagram. Using a scale of one centimeter is to one kilo newton. Okay, sorry about that. Now let's draw our force diagram using the scale of one centimeter is to one kilo newton. So firstly, I am going to draw a vertical line that will give me point A, B, C, D, and E. Let's draw a vertical line that will give me point A, B, C, D, and E. Here it's my vertical line. So here it's point A, right? So we are going to point B. Point B, we have a force of 8 kilonewton. From point A to point B, we have a force of 8 kilonewton. So guys, because I don't have any space here, I'm going to reduce my scale. I'm going to use the scale of 1 cm is to 2 kN, but you can use this, the given scale, which is 1 cm is to 1 kN. So, from A to B, we have a force of 8 kN. We are going to take this 8 kN and divide it by the given scale. I'm going to divide this 8 by 2, and you are going to divide this force by 1 kN. 
so 8 divided by 2 it's 4 so I'm going to measure 4 meters from A going to point B I'm going to measure 4 meters here is my 4 meters then it's point B then from B to C I have a force of 5 kilonewton I'm going to take this 5 divide it by 2 I have 2,5 meters I'm gonna measure this 2,5 meters from point B going down it will give me point C that's 2,5 so here that's my point C from C to D I have a force of 4 kilonewton so take this 4 and divide it by the given scale I'm gonna divide it by 2 it gives me 2 from point C I measure 2 going down then this is my point D and then from point D to E if you cannot see this this is E from point D to E I'm going to take the right hand reaction which is 7,5 kilonewton and divide it by 2 I have 3,75 which makes it 3,8 so I'm going to measure 3,8 from point D going up 3,8 from point D going up um, here it is so this is my point E from point E to A automatically it's given it's from this one to this one we have a force of 9,5 which is um the left hand reaction so you're gonna take 9,5 you divide it by the given scale which is 1 and I divided it by 2 and then I got the distance so now we want to take out this point we want to take out point f from a i'm gonna draw a line at an angle of 30 degrees as you can see here it's at an angle of 30 degrees so from point a i'm going to draw a line at an angle of 30 degrees right here right and then it must intersect with point e so at e i'm going to draw a horizontal line at e i'm going to draw a horizontal line at e we draw a horizontal line and where it inters intersect with line a this point it's point f this point it's point f and now you can erase this part because you no longer need it right so this is your point f now we're gonna find g point g from f to g at f we are going to draw a vertical line which is this one because we want G, we are going to draw a vertical line at point F. Okay. Let's draw a vertical line at point F. We are drawing a vertical line. Then it must intersect with E. Meaning that F and G, they share a point. Because this is E, E it is still horizontal, and here is your line E, and this is line F. Where they intersect, it gives you point G, meaning that F and G share a point. So, <clears throat> you don't need those lines. You're not going to use them any, anyway, so you might as well erase it, them right now we are looking we are looking for point h okay so to find point h we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30 at point g at point g 
we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. At an angle of 30. Here it is. At an angle of 30. Then we are going to draw a line again at B. At an angle of 30 again. At B. Where they intersect, it gives you point H. Where they intersect, it gives you point H. So here it is. This is your point H. Now you no longer need these lines. You erase them. We are erasing them because we are trying to avoid a messy force diagram right so now we are looking for point i point i from point h we are going to draw a vertical line from point f i mean point h we are going to draw a vertical line then it must intersect with c it must intersect with point C. At point C, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. At point C, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. At point C. And where they intersect with point H, where they intersect with point H, they will give you I. This point is I. You erase this one because you no longer need it. Right. Now we are looking for point J. At I, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. At point I, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. Right. And where it intersect with E, it must intersect with E to give you point J. At I, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. Where it intersect with E, we are going to get point J. We have a little J there. Now we are looking for point K. Point K at D. Point K must meet with, must intersect with D and E. Meaning that J and K will also share a point. So at point D, we are going to draw a line at an angle of 30. It must meet with point J. It must meet with point J or it must intersect with line E where it will give you um it will give you K. It will give you K. So meaning that J and K they share a point. Now you can now you can make your first diagram to be visible enough. Let's make our first diagram to be visible enough. You are done doing your first diagram. Now we are making it visible enough. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, guys, now this is your first diagram. It is done. 
now this is your first diagram thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe see you next time